Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about colouring and drawing within Critter. Let's do it. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a shape uh, and we're going to colour it in only using grayscale. Then I'm going to show you a layer mode that will allow you to keep your darks, your shadows and your highlights or your lowlights within your image. This is going to be the easiest way to colour your stuff in. It's going to be amazing. Let's do it. Right, so we have our image here. I've just drawn the ellipse tool, uh, made a circle, filled it in with the colour. I'm just going to take the magic tool again because this is going to be the easiest way to do it. And wait for that to kick in. There we go. So it's selected there the, uh, the circle that we've made. And then what I'm going to do is go back to my brush, increase my brush size up to my colours. See I'm already using this colour here which is like a soft grey. If I'm going to do shadows I probably won't go any further than this. If I'm going to do lights I will only go as far as this. So let's do a shadow first. Uh, I'm going to go with that one for this one. Yep. And we're just going to paint on a shadow just like that. Go right round. You have to have an understanding of light and where your focus point is going to be. Uh, for mine, my, my light's going to be sort of around up here. Uh, just go around here again. Give it a bit smoother. There we go. So we're going to use that as our shadow. And we're going to go back into our color palette. And then I'm going to pick this color here, which is like a really light gray. Click OK. And then you can just add bit of a highlight here and this is not how I'd normally color but um, it's a good just using this as a reference obviously there is some blending that you can do with sort of uh, if I click in here you got these like wet uh, blenders and all that sort of thing and these these work really well for time's sake I'm just gonna leave it like that so we're happy with that that's our image and that's where we're gonna go I'm going to go over to a new layer, give ourselves a new layer. But under this one, what we're going to do is change it to colour. Okay, this is the vital part. Click on colour, and we have Control Shift A to remove our selection. And we're just going to pick any colour we like. Uh, I'm going to go with a vibrant red, like that. The good thing about this colour will only stay within the things you've drawn. Okay, you'll notice this in a second. I'm just gonna do big wide strokes and it's just gonna color in this gray section. Okay, so let's increase our brush size to there. And ready, I'm gonna start here. The color here, back again, back that way. See that? It's staying within this ball. So I'm going to go around this way like that, and back through here. There you go, look at that. See there it's kept our shading, and it's kept our lighting. And that's the easiest thing to do. Now you can't use blacks, and you can't use whites because it doesn't work. If you do want to use those, go up to a new layer, hit the new layer, go onto here, so I've got black selected. And it allow you to, to draw back over it. Okay, same with white, flip it to white, and it'll do the same thing. It removes sort of stuff with the white background. But there you go, that is how easy it is to keep your lights and your darks within your drawing. I hope this helps you out. If it does, brilliant. If not, or you need any more information, uh, I will happily give it to you. Just leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'll try and get out another video uh, of me sketching and drawing and using this method. Uh, but until then, peace, love and empathy and keep creating.